When this video has released, as long as I haven't made a catastrophic editing error, the hunt event should have ended. So I wanted to take an opportunity in this video to talk about my thoughts, both good and bad, because interestingly, they're actually different to what they initially were. It wasn't too positive, and we will talk about that, because some of the thoughts I do still have, but it has gotten better over time. And I do think that for a first attempt back, this is a really good event. For context, Roblox used to do egg hunts every single year, and they stopped it in 2020. Then in 2021, they did Metaverse Champions, which was a bit controversial, people didn't really like it, then they took a few years out and now of course we have the hunt. So I think for the first time in three years we have a proper event where there's actual games featured with challenges to complete in those games related to the event, I think this is an awesome attempt and they can build on this and they can improve to make this a 10 out of 10 event in my opinion pretty easily. But that doesn't mean it's all plain sailing, I'm going to start with the negatives, so we're going to start with the low and we're going to end on the high and I think that very much with this event I think the quantity of things was really good but I think the quality wasn't so good and we'll talk about that. So if you've got no idea what I'm talking about you could check out the uh, in the iCard there kind of my intro to the hunt playing it for the first time. This is in a Roblox event where a hundred games as you can see I'm going past them all right now a hundred games I'm sure you'll recognize some of them have updated to add a challenge. You complete that challenge and you get a badge and that will actually contribute to your badge counter and if you get a certain amount of badges you can redeem these rewards. Here's the thing though there are 30 rewards in this event and you only get eight of them for free. As you you can see in the rewards screen we have five golden rewards here but you need to spend 800 robux to get those and then all of the other rewards are linked to robux you've got the pin which is of course given to the developers so that one doesn't really count but you've got the marketplace on the side here they will offer you a special reward for 24 hours at a time i just find it frustrating that there's 30 rewards and 22 of them you need to spend robux on and this is an official roblox event they've never really done this before so it just seems a bit cash grabby to me i'm not a huge fan of that i love how there's 30 rewards but most of them are super Super expensive. I think if you had these rewards, you had every 10 you got a reward and at 100 you got the infinite egg, I think that would have been perfect. Because the main complaint I've heard from these people, I've heard two things and we'll get into the second one in a second, but the main one is that it's just not worth it grinding 100 games to just get six rewards. And I do heavily agree with that, as fun as this event was, six rewards just doesn't really seem worth it. Now the next one is pretty obvious from an outsider's perspective. There's a hundred games in this event, so surely not all of the games are going to be very entertaining to get the badge. And that is very true. There are some absolutely amazing ones, I must say that. I think SCP Roleplays is really good. I think Doors, personally, for me, I hated Doors. I actually loved the Doors one. It actually makes me want to play Doors. There are some games that, yes, really cool with their challenges, but on the other end of the scale, there's really some games that aren't good at all. Like Snowboard Obby, you just gotta beat the first world. These American football games, absolute pain. Fruit Battleground, you gotta get like a kill streak of two, get to like level 15. That's kind of ridiculous. So in that sense, it's not great. Of course, 100 games, sounds really impressive on paper but of course there's going to be some games that don't really put effort in. I think Roblox could have and maybe should have done more to kind of ensure that the challenges would actually be entertaining. I don't know how long they gave them, I've heard a month, I've heard two weeks, I don't know how long they actually had to actually make their hunt challenges but maybe if you give them more of a deadline then ask them what they're actually going to do in the event and if it sounds exciting then you can bring them into the actual hunt event. I just think Roblox kind of just let the developers loose and didn't really control what the challenges would actually be and in turn that kind of created some laziness in some games. And especially with the rewards, as we mentioned earlier, just getting six rewards for all of that pain in loads of games, it's just not worth it. I heard a rumor, I'm not sure if it's true, that the second reward is only obtainable by 5% of the people that joined the hunt. So here's a list of the stats showing every single reward and the percentage of players that joined the hunt that actually obtained them. And you can see it's not that great. Not many people did it because, as I said, it's not really worth it. If the challenge is not only showed you what the game was about, but it was also fun on its own, I think that could be a lot better and it actually entice players to grind. But this is something they can build on. It's 100 games, that is quite a lot to moderate, and I assume in the next event it'll probably be less than that, maybe 50, maybe 24, because of 2024, I'm not sure. And my final negative point on the event is time. As I mentioned before, the rewards is only 6, you have to get 100 badges in games, and they're not that exciting for most of them. You only got about 2 weeks to do it, I think it was about 16 days, which is just not enough time, is it? It's really not. You get just over 2 weeks to do 100 games, most of them aren't very exciting, to get 6 rewards so you're probably never gonna wear. In my opinion, I think it should have started at the start of March and then ended on April 1st, which is the day after Easter. Of course, this isn't really an Easter-related event. It kind of is, because it's the hunt and they used to do egg hunts, but it's not really been labeled as that. So it's gonna end the day before Easter. Like, I don't really get that. It should be the day after, surely. Like, I've had many friends that just don't have that much time. Obviously, with me, this is kind of what I'm doing. This is kind of, you know, my thing, making uh, videos on Roblox. So, of course, for me, I only took about a week to do it, and I was recording and publishing shorts on them as well. But for the 
average person, they're not on every day. They don't, they can't play for that long. How can you expect people to get the infinite egg, which is probably the best reward that's free, if they can't even spend the time to get all the badges? So yeah, I think it should have been about double the time length, around a month. So those are my three negatives, and now let's delve into the positives. I think the first one's pretty obvious. It's a Roblox event. They're finally doing events again, which is so exciting. It's absolutely incredible to see all of these games. Some of them never heard of before. Some of them are kind of really underrated and not really known about, and some of them are kind of main staples. And I think that's absolutely incredible. There's a great diversity of games here, maybe a little bit too many simulators, uh, but apart from that, I think it is a really good kind of range of games. And 100 games is a lot. Of course, you need 95 out of those 100 to get all of the rewards. But if you stay want just the staff, then you just need 20. You just pick your 20 favorites and just play them. And as I mentioned before, some games do have really cool challenges. It's not all bad. Some of them are actually really good. Another positive that I had is that this is probably the most fun I've had on Roblox. This past two weeks has been amazing, personally. Like, of course, not all the games were very exciting, but I still had a lot of fun doing them and playing different games. I even have friends that never really played Roblox much anymore. They kind of stopped playing and have come back to do this event. And I think that was really exciting. It kind of brought me back to kind of the past times with Metaverse Champions and the other events. I think that was awesome. And it was nice to do something different for a change, actually play games to progress and go towards a goal. You know, that's something that isn't really done much, to be honest. Roblox is all about just playing the games, but playing the games to do something in those games. And there's a hundred of them, I think is really exciting. The final positive I'll say is really with this channel. I've posted two videos on the hunt. It'll be free once this one releases and 50, that's right, 50 shorts on the hunt challenges. You obviously need 95 to get the crown and the egg. So that's just under half of what you need to complete the event. We blasted past 10,000, we're at 11,300 right now. Didn't even get to thank you for 10,000. So I'll do that now, thank you. We're already at 11, so I'm a bit late, but it's still it's surreal. And yeah, this event kind of uh, created that. So obviously I'm very thankful for that. And of course that's a positive. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the hunt event. But what do you think? If you've got some opinions that maybe I didn't mention, or maybe I said something was bad, you think was actually a good thing, chuck them down in the comments. I'll make sure to uh, read them and uh, hear out the thoughts. And yeah, I'm excited about the future of these Roblox events. I think they're very exciting. And I think that they, as I said uh, earlier, could do some minor changes to could make these events awesome. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for 10,000 once again. We're already at 11,000, so let's get to 12,000 as soon as possible. If you want to get my previous video, that's right there. I did a tier list ranking all of the hunt rewards, put them on five tiers and found out which one I actually like the most. So make sure you check out the video right there because there might be a few surprises and I'll see you there. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Idiom D and as always, peace out.